welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit fun, a little bit of a challenge. We're going to be doing the blindfolded book cover challenge. So the idea of this is I am blindfolded. Tom is here. Hello. <laughs> He's going to describe a book cover to me and I have to try and guess what the book cover is. I thought this would be fun to do because A, we haven't done like a challengey video in a while and B, I was talking about my patrons with this, like we make such a big deal out of book covers, like if a book's got a pretty book cover, but once it's on your shelf, unless it's face out like these, you only see the spine. You don't see the cover. Wow. So I want to put to the test how much I actually remember the covers of books I've read or haven't read. Tom can pick whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. So I'm, should I leave the room? Should I vacate the premises? Yes. So you put it on and I'm going to write anyway when you're here. Okay. All right. Ready? Yes. You can do it yourself, yeah. I want to sense where you're going on the shelves. I'm going to go over in the corner. You go into the corner. Now, I'm going to pick, it might seem a bit obvious, but this is one I spent a lot of time looking at, but I think it's really quite cool. <coughs> okay, you can return now. So this is what I've chosen, and I'm going to say, <laughs> what really stands out about this? Topery. <laughs> Topery. Are you just Topery. saying, you can't just say one word. I thought you'd like, then, it, I thought you'd then be like, okay, then. Or well, it's something with flowers, right? It just, the front cover looks to me like a bowl of topiary. What is topiary? Flowers? It's like that kind of weird stuff that you get, like, the kind of, like, dried flowers and fruit and bark and cinnamon in a kind of bowl. What have I got that has that? Well, Felix, I've, this isn't me guessing. Felix, I've asked her flowers on it, but it's a book you've seen a lot. Well, I just think it stands out for some reason. Give me, give me a little bit more flavour. Give me okay. a little bit more flavour. I don't know. Actually, this is actually a lot harder to just... Oh, trying to think what's the most obvious distinguishing factor so I can get you to get it as quick as possible, you know what I mean? Yeah. Doing that with one word. Tom's decided he's only doing snake. one word. Snake? What the snake? fuck has a snake on it? Yeah, that's not actually that obvious, is it? A lot I of books had really, snakes on it. I thought this would be really obvious at first. Here, is it? Is it the Once and Future Witches? It is. Hey! Calm down. Calm down. Yeah, it looks like topiary, but it's not very. <laughs> yeah, okay, I got it. Really I good. just started thinking like cinnamon, like snake, like all yeah. kind of witchy. Yeah. I don't know that has flowers on it. I think it's a really pretty book. I like the red, uh, the red bit. Yeah, yeah, it's very pretty. I'm a big fan, and obviously it sits here on the shelf. Yeah. And for some reason, I just find it really stands out. It does. I don't know why. It's very because pretty. often when things are like all kind of crow themed, I think that's where it, when it's black and red and crows and stuff. I think it's fairly generic. <laughs> Tea is so it's so piping hot. I've spilled it all over my dress. Yeah, Mr. Raven Boys up here. Oh, you have a vendetta against Raven Boys. Don't let Hannah hear you say that. Oh uh, well, she you're not listening. <laughs> okay. Okay, you return. You leave. I'm gonna pick another one. Bum, 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 bum. Right, I get a chance to tell everyone what some of my favourite covers are because I spend a I spend an unhealthy amount of time looking at these. <laughs> Big fan of this one. I think it's like probably the prettiest of the bunch. Me and Megan took a good photo of that once. Big fan of this one. I think that's a good one. But I think I'm going to do this one because it's another one of my favourites. Well, you saying it's one of your favourites gives me a little bit of a, a, cl a clue. A clue! I don't think it does, really. Because okay. I think you'd know that I think this is quite a cool front cover. Okay. My first clue mm -hmm. is Steven Universe. What? <laughs> Tom! When I look at this, it reminds me of Steven Universe. <laughs> if you, if you know, you know. What? You better shut the f up Word on the street. You better shut the f up with that! I don't know anything. Well, just think about what, what's a prevailing emotion or, or colour that comes through when you think of pink Steven Universe. Pink or purple, I think of when yeah. I think of Steven Universe. Yeah, it is. You're right. It is pink. Um, okay, clue number two. Yeah, give me another one. Massive woman. <laughs> she's massive. What? Look how massive Massive she is. woman. Steven Universe. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't think of anything. Uh, I don't know. Oh no, I'm knocking stuff over. Oh. Well, stop touching stuff then, what are you doing? I don't know, I was going to try and like, you know, get Fill a vibe from the shelf. 
Well, you can't. <laughs> Give me another clue. That's a woman. Tape measure. You are fucking with me now. There's a tape measure all over it. <laughs> what? There's a tape measure? Yeah. Massive woman. Big woman. Pink. Tape measures. The fair fight? No. No. Massive. Give me another clue. <laughs> Cape. What? I've really described boy and girl <laughs> on the front cover as well. They're about to have a dance. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, uh, this is so hard. I can't think of anything. Right, you failed. What I literally the... can't. Oh! oh, that's so true. That is so true. I completely forgot about that. It looks like Stephen Universe's mum. Uh, does it? I've never seen Stephen Universe's mum. Oh, yeah, massive woman. Massive woman. That's tape measure. She's measuring him. There's a tape measure on oh. the back. What do we have, ladies? A fucking clown. We are a stupid bitch. We are a fucking clown. I thought this is a really good front cover and I thought it's you liked very this. I, I do. I just read it like years one. ago, didn't oh, I? Really? So. Okay. I just think it's a really memorable one. I'm a big fan God of this God damn. Cover. Ah! Okay. I think this is a lot harder than you realise. <laughs> I'm quite a fan of this one as well. It's got a unique colour. Right, okay. So my first book, I'm just remembering now, look at the camera. <laughs> my first I'm just going to say it's quite a minimalist front cover minimalist okay but there is a deer on the front cover a deer a deer a deer I think it's a cool cover I like him I'm so bad at this yeah it's not easy there's a deer <laughs> yeah that's had a, a chunk eaten out of him what and there's trees growing out of his back pine so, yeah <gasps> that's a good guess <gasps> Oh my god, you're so clever! Yeah, 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 it was a hard one because I haven't read it. You haven't read this? Nope. Why not? I want to, I just haven't got around to well, it. It looks cool. I really, see, this is a cool colour to me. It stands out. You know, that kind of shiny yeah. coppery orange. No, I do need to read that. It's a cool cover. I've just, I picked it. It was right at the bottom. Oh my I picked god. it out just because of what? <laughs> just my appearance. I'm just going to take this opportunity to tell people what covers I really hate. <laughs> Massive hate for this front cover. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, no, I'm gonna tell you, I've found one that I wanna pick now. I think this might be. Yeah. My favorite. Your favorite? I think it might be one of my favorite front covers. I'm a big fan of it. Okay. Because it invokes philosophical vibes to me. <laughs> so stupid. I don't know why, but I, when I look at it, I think of Plato. You think of Plato? But I also think potato. Dig? Yeah, hey! Oh, damn, I thought it'd take longer for that. No, it's only a book about potatoes. Oh, is it actually about potatoes? It's about potato Isn't farmers. Isn't quite a weird book? It's a really weird book. It's about it... a family I of potato farmers. I think it's farmers. really cool, though. I, I like love that cover. cover. I think it's a really good front cover. It's a really good front cover. I also, when I look at it, I also think of, like, man creation painting. Yeah, I know what you, you mean. Know, when the yeah, God's yeah, yeah. touching the geezer's finger. Stay as you are. I'm checking the car. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Big fish. You. I hate you, big fish. Just a massive fish. Big fish. Oh, the Twyford Code. Twyford Code. I'm a genius. <laughs> Another quite common sight. Common sight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I think you're gonna get this instantaneously. Okay. Green dress. Evelyn Hugo. <sighs> easy. That was easy. That was easy. I told you it? to make it hard. Why is this such a memorable front cover? It's just reckon? like iconic. You know, yeah. everyone, the everyone, like this everyone book? loves this book. It's super okay, popular. Oh, really good. Yeah, well, I think it's a really good front cover as well. It's not really my kind of vibe. It's an iconic I like cover. Dig and Pine the best. Dig and Pine. I think they're my two favourite covers. Hmm. Oh, has the appeal got a different front cover? Yeah. You've I've got two versions. Two I think the original appeal looks really similar to the Wyford Code. It's the same author. That's why. Oh. So I'm going to try and make this one hard. Okay. <laughs> it has a hotel on the front. A hotel on the front. Yeah. The sanatorium? Nope. It has a door handle on the front. The maid? Yeah. <laughs> my disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. I think it's another great front uh, cover. Oh, great cover. What makes this a good front cover? I don't know. It's just like aesthetically pleasing it is, i much it? prefer it to wait there this is the u.s cover i much prefer the uk one even though this is that nice. looks a bit to me um 
Margot Atwood style design. Oh uh, yeah, maybe. Don't know why. But I much prefer the U the UK one. Yeah, well, I think it's the gold shiny. It's like yeah. Mm, it looks it looks glossy. like voluptuous. Just looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't know why. Whereas Jade City, oh my days, <laughs> that's so of its time. This looks like books. this isn't old. Well, this to me looks like books used to look when I was a kid. Twenty eight seventeen. Do you remember when there was like? Tw- on the bookshelves, you'd have it like black with like some sort of glossy blob of colour, like the twilight. You yeah. Like. Every, when I was a kid and used to go and buy books, so I'd go to the library, every book looked like this. Mm. That's why I hate him. <laughs> I found a really great one, guys. That's really cool. There's a washing machine. Oh, I know what it is. Do you? Yeah. Oh, no. It's sheets. Yeah, man. How cool <laughs> is that? That's a great front cover. But the best front covers are, are graphic, graphic novels. novels. You like Because graphic... they're good at drawing yeah. stuff. Look it's, how cool it's that is. It's about a girl who what, like, works a washing machine, and there's a ghost that she's friends with. That's so cool. My, my new favourite front cover. Look at him, he's vibing. <laughs> right, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Okay. Oh, one... Also, this is why this one's really cool. Look at those colours. The... Sprayed edges. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Surfing. Malibu Rising. Fuck, man. <laughs> You're just... I'm just picking all the ones that stand out to me, because this one stands out to me as well. This, for me, looks like a Netflix documentary thumbnail. Well, it is going to be made into a film, or I think a Netflix show. So. But it just looks this, looks like a kind of, oh, we're... We're, we're surfers. We're surfing. Well, I guess, I guess everyone was just really disappointed with how bad a job I did. No, you didn't do a bad job. Right, come on then. How many books look like this? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with my views or beliefs because I have freedom of speech and everything I'm saying is true. Every book looks like that. Yeah. Every single one of them. I'm not going to pick that, am I? That's boring. No. Diviners. Oh, my day. That's my least favorite book ever. Because <laughs> I had to carry this everywhere. <laughs> yes, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. This, I'm going to continue my campaign. Okay. This kind of start, I can't, I can't tell you. The reasons why, but I would have when I was a kid, I would have seen books like this everywhere. I feel like every book yeah. looked like this. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, I get what you mean. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I think this always stands out as well. No, not Raven Boy. Goddamn. Yeah, that's quite a good cover. It's a like scythe, isn't it? Yeah, that's the series. God, I know my stuff. You do know your stuff. Because some other covers just look like words, you know. Yeah. I don't think I was really gonna get you out when I think you actually know your covers pretty well. Thank you. I know him pretty well. <laughs> that said, everyone, thank you for watching. Let us know in the comments how you think I did. I think I did pretty well. Let us know what you think of tasting. Favorites, my favorites, my least favorites. His favorites and least favorites. What do you think of his cover taste? I would <laughs> say these are my favorites. What are some ones you've said before that are your favorites though? I'm trying to remember. You said remember. other ones, but yeah, you like nature. You like no. Minimalist I just think covers. these are quite minimalist, and yeah. they stand out because of that. Mm. I like this one because I like the kind of orangey, goldy colour. Yeah. And I think Diggs looks like Plato. <laughs> I couldn't tell you that. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. If you got into the end, comment. What emoji should they comment if they got to the end? Comment. Is there a corn on the cob emoji? I think there is a corn on the cob emoji. Oh, there you go, then. Corn on the cob emoji. Comment that down below if you got to the end. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.